In this video, I'm going to show you the process for getting Portmaster games installed on MuOS. After quickly showing how to install free, ready-to-play Portmaster games, I will walk through the installation process for Bellatro, Stardew Valley, and Undertale, as these are the three I see most requested. Okay, let's get on with it. The first thing to do is to ensure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. Then launch Portmaster from the Applications menu. If you get asked to update Portmaster, go ahead and say yes. The Ready to Run Ports option has all the free games that can be installed by selecting one of them and then hitting A. After you have installed the games that you want, you can back out to the MuOS main menu and launch them from the Ports folder and Explore Content. If for any reason the games list does not populate, the number one reason for this is that your Wi-Fi is not connected, even if it looks like it is. You may need to disconnect and reconnect, reboot the device, or change from a static connection to DHCP, then launch Portmaster again. Other games, like the ones I will go over now, require you to have access to the game files. This means you will need to have purchased the game from a store like Steam, GOG, itch.io, etc. Depending on the game, you may need to own it from a specific store. I will be using Steam versions for these three games, as that is where I own them. I'm going to start off with Bellatro, as that is the easiest one to install. After having installed the game from Portmaster, you will then navigate to the Bellatro game files on your computer. You can do this by right-clicking on the game in Steam and selecting Properties, Installed Files, then click the Browse button, and this will open up your file browser, then locate the bellatro.exe file. Next, connect to your SD card and navigate to the Ports folder, and then open Bellatro. Copy the bellatro.exe file into the Bellatro folder on your SD card, and you are done. You should now be able to launch Bellatro from the Ports folder in Explore Content. Now, on to Stardew Valley. After you have installed the game from Portmaster, before we go to the game files, we will need to set it to the compatibility version. To do that, right-click on the game in Steam, select Properties, Betas, then click the drop-down menu, then select the option that starts with the word Compatibility. Steam will then do a quick update to the Stardew Valley files. When this is done, go to the Installed Files and click Browse. This will then take you to the Stardew Valley game files. Connect to your SD card and navigate to Ports, Stardew Valley, and copy all of the files from your Steam Stardew Valley folder to the Game Data folder on your SD card. After those files are moved over, that is it. You should now be able to launch Stardew Valley from the Ports folder in Explore Content. Stardew Valley takes a long time to load, so if you're just at a black screen, give it some time. Now for Undertale. After you have installed the game from Portmaster, we will need a version of the game that is not easily accessible on Steam like the other games. This will require us to enter a command into the Steam console. I will post both commands in the description below so they can be easily copied and pasted. The first command is to open up the Steam console. You will want to type this or paste it into your browser. It is Steam colon forward slash forward slash open forward slash console. When you hit enter, it will say that the site is trying to open Steam and just click on the open button. You will then be taken to your Steam application. You will see that it says console at the top next to your username and it'll be a blank page, but you will have a field at the bottom that you can type into. You will want to then copy and paste the console command I have in the description without the quotation marks. This command is telling Steam 
that we want to download a specific version of Undertale, the first number is the Steam ID, and the second number is the Depot ID for the Linux version. This info can be found on the SteamDB website. Once you have it pasted in, hit enter, and it'll start downloading the version of Undertale we need. It will take a few minutes. Once it is done, it will say download complete, and it will show you where the files have been installed. You will then need to go to that location, or you can just copy and paste the location into your file browser and get there easily. Then connect to your SD card, navigate to ports, then Undertale. Drag the assets folder from the depot folder into the Undertale folder on your SD card. After that, you should now be able to launch Undertale from the ports folder and explore content. Heads up on a couple things. To quit out of a Portmaster game, press the menu button and the start button at the same time, and that will take you back to the game list. But remember that there are no save states, so you have to use whatever saving is built into the game before closing out of it. You may run into issues with some of these games, as Portmaster is still relatively new to this device and is used across many different devices with different aspect ratios and screens. So not everything will be playable on this. If you run into issues, you can always ask for help in the MuOS or the Portmaster Discord. I was going to add Celeste to this video, however the process for getting that game is a little more in-depth and probably deserves its own video. Also, it's required to buy the game on itch.io. After purchasing that game on Steam and Switch, I was not too excited to purchase that game for the third time, unless there's some actual demand for a tutorial on it. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Okay, I think that should do it. If you have enjoyed or found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more content like this, and if you have any questions or ran into any issues, ask them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching.